Oh, oh, boy, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Y suscribe. It's like the T-Mac conversation. You know, uh, mm. if he could stay on the court, if he could stay healthy. I'm being honest. No disrespect. Nobody will hear that. This is why certain guys is never going to be in some of these lists. And if OG can't stay healthy for the next three to five years and, and, and showcase this this talent you're talking about, it's going to be hard to put him in those in those discussions, even though he has the talent. And I disagree with you. It is on him to stay healthy. However, he has to make that happen. Who else is it on? Who else do we blame? He's sh he shown us enough when he was on the court. Where it was like even healthy was like he disappointed me. He got shut the hell down by Tayshawn Prince and them. I saw what happened when Kevin speaking to Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett is the one that showed me like, yeah, your man ain't all that. Damn, nah. what you, why you do that for? I'm just saying when we talk about if if OG, right, when you talk about the greatest defenders of all time, go to one through five, we're talking about Giannis and Bede and Joker he was able to guard. The last three or four MVPs in the league, bro, that's who he's guarding. T-Mac, when he got the Tayshawn Prince on him and Kevin Garnett, he couldn't figure them out and got bro, bounced out the, out, out the first but round. Hold on, but hold he on, blew but a 3-1 lead. Faber, you got to be fair. You talk about Tayshawn Prince, Detroit Pistons, bro, that's one of the probably the greatest defensive teams they in hold on, hold on. In that in that discussion, you talk about Kevin Garnett, one of the greatest defenders in NBA history. So let's not act like T Mac got shut down by scrubs. I, I'm, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that we're talking about elite versus elite. And when it was time to come up to, towards that elite, Kobe and them figured that out. There wasn't no so when you threw T Mac's name in, it's like I'm not gonna say that if T Mac was healthy, he would have been a top three two guard in the game. I don't think T Mac was as good as D Wade. Me personally, that's the guy. If you tell me if D Way was healthy, okay, you could disagree with that. I disagree with that. Yeah, disagree if, with that. Ain't no way possible anyone can convince me if Bruh. D Way's not healthy. Now we're talking about him versus Kobe versus Jordan. Bruh. That's I've always if, felt that. Way. If T Mac had the opportunity, if Grant Hill and Tim Duncan would have went to Orlando, just how LeBron and, and all these guys teamed up, it's no nowhere. It's no way in the world T Mac with that skill set, healthy would not be top three, top five greatest shooting guards all time. I disagree with that. And I'm not even a big team, that guy. But that skill set he had, bro, if he had an opportunity to play on or get guys to play with him, like how LeBron and D-Wade and all them guys linked up, it's no way in the world you telling me he wouldn't have been better than D-Wade, bro. It's no way. No. If we compare T-Mac to D-Wade, um, that's a conversation. That's a conversation. Man, listen, like, some guys just have that winning intangible, and some guys don't. Good I don't point. think I, I don't think just the, just the intangible alone, if we're going to compare those guys, because I don't think you can compare, like, real skill set. Like, T-Mac is 6'8", is 6'9", six, six, and could do it all. You know, Dwayne Wade was a 6'3", fireball, but, you know, wasn't the greatest of shooters. T-Mac could shoot it. Three level scorer from three mid range, get to the rim, right? Like at one point, this dude was unstoppable, a scoring champion, back to back, right? Like this guy was a bucket. So I, I'm not gonna argue that. Like talent for talent, T Mac could be matched up against anybody. Um, but that intangible of just being a winning player, I think that's what separates him from. And and, and so many things matter when you when you talk about winning. You know your right. team. Your coach situation, so I get that. I'm not, I'm not taking that or not factoring that into when you would look at teammates. But you look at guys and how they play and how they approach the game. Some guys just approach it from just a merely winning aspect, and some guys approach it with, "I'm gonna kill you." Now I don't know if we're gonna win the game, but I'm going, I'm gonna dominate my matchup. And a lot more times. I got that from T Mac dominating my matchup as opposed to playing winning basketball. So that may be the difference for me with with him and him and D Wade. That's a uh, that's a great point. Like I, you killed that. I have no rebuttal for that. But you know, I'm just saying, uh, like you said, the organization, the coach, your teammates, that plays a vital part in guys winning. And if Duncan and Grant Hill was able to go to Orlando, how it should have went, 
and God bless that clown Doc Rivers for stopping that. <laughs> and T Mac got one or two rings, and like you know, if it was a fifth, we all be drunk. I get that, but if he stays healthy, and like I said, has these monster teams like everybody else, it's no way in the world he's not top three, guaranteed top five shooting guard, because he has the bro. I'm being honest, and I might have to do a post with this. Does T-Mac have a better skill set than Kyrie Irving? You see how I didn't jump out there and be like, oh, hell no, no, no. No, no, it's, but you get what I'm, you it's get what I'm saying, I get, I, get, I get what you say, OG. Like, 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 when like. That dude was extremely talented. Come on, bro. And, and, and his skill level was on a different level. It was. Bro, yo, please. He was 6'9". He could knock down a three, the mid-range. He could bang it on you. Lay up with both hands. Handle for that size was crazy. We not see to me. I love Kyrie, but we keep getting mesmerized by the handle, bro. Like we had this argument on live. Who's a better skill set, Kevin Durant or Kyrie? Like, so I'm just being honest, and I'm not a big T Mac guy. But when we looking at talent and skill set, T Mac might be top five. Who was be who was doing what he was doing? At that size, he never looked clumsy. He never looked crazy. I don't feel like against the elite, elite defense and against the elite defenses, I didn't feel like he was going to go down with, with Michael Jordan. I thought there was something like Kobe proved what it took. And I, I think T-Mac was more talented than Kobe. But Kobe just had a different level to him. I thought D Wade had a different level to him. Yo, Flea, R RP th thinks I'm, I'm disrespectful too much. You know what's really crazy? I'll, I'll give T Mac some love. You ever seen that clip when Shane Battier's, when they asked Shane Battier who's the best passer he ever played with? And he ain't say LeBron. He says Tracy McGrady. Yep. He said, and then I went back to look. Remember, yo, T Mac played baseball. <laughs> and it looked like it. His passes were. Hell, hell of a pitcher. Listen, that's what I'm trying. Hey, Flea, that's what I'm saying. I think I'm gonna do that post later. We keep talking about Kyrie with the greatest skill set ever. I'm gonna be honest, man. And then we talk about KD. You know, a lot of guys go crazy over Michael Beasley. And if we just talking pure talent and skill set, listen, man, T Mac might be the guy. I think T Mac and Vince Carter were more talented than Kobe Bryant. They just naturally out the womb look. Like Vince could jump through the through a roof, but they ain't have that heart, man. They ain't have that will, and everything that everybody wants to laugh at us all of a sudden because they think that's overrated. Or nah, Kobe was just he woke up every day on a mission, and I, I don't I, think T Mac did. But I think that, like, I, I I agree with that. I just don't think it's fair to say that like Bean wasn't as talented as those guys. I think if we just look from a talent perspective. Vince Carter might amass tons of guys that we think are talented. Like Vince Carter was might might be the top most. five, the <laughs> most talented player of all time. Just, just if we just just just, just, just right, right, OG, like just yeah. pure talent. That's like Vince, Vince might be one, two, three, four, five, depending on whoever you got. I just, you know, my bias, so I'm not gonna lie, it's no bias. But you know, I just think you know to be able to be pulled out of out of high school at that time you know being mm -hmm. being was talented but fully agree with you fabian his work ethic superseded his talent like think about your flea remember the guy before vincent and and all these guys in t-mac tim thomas was the man in high school he was the original Tim lebron oh oh boy tv they scared but i'm not they don't like commentario he subscribe.